Okay, so in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to use GIMP, um, GNU Image Manipulation Program, uh, to create animations or GIF animations. Um, this video is perhaps about 20 years uh, too late from when GIFs were in their heyday, um, but occasionally they're, they're still useful for creating banner ads and things. So we're going to open GIMP, um, and then from here we're going to create a new project, so click New. Uh, we're just going to leave the default size for now, a, but you could change that to any size that you want. If you needed to create a banner, it's very long or very tall, it's really up to you. Zoom in a bit. Um, now, what we're going to do for this is gonna, we're going to paint like a starry image, and then animate it so it looks like uh, we're sort of flying through space. So uh, first we're going to create a background, then we're creating a new layer here. Uh, and the new layer is going to be our stars layer, so we're going to make uh, the stars. Uh, we're just going to do something very simple, um, no fancy, nothing fancy, just uh, some light brushwork. Um, uh, we have a black background now, which is the bottom layer, labeled background. Uh, and we have this layer, so we're just going to put a bunch of white stars uh, all around. Just to get something which, uh, sort of in a slightly abstract way, looks like a starry night. Okay or space. Uh, we can maybe add a bit, some different color stars, like if we want to add suns or something, that uh, gives something a little bit more yellowy. So we can do that, pick a color, uh, change that, and maybe make it a little bit bigger so we have some contrast. And maybe we'll add some blue stars or something. We'll get something of a, a blue midnight kind of color. Pick that, okay, and again adjust the size. Make these even larger. Uh, I'm not sure if blue stars are bigger or smaller than yellow stars, uh, but this could be far away or near. So it doesn't really matter. Um, now what we need to do is we need to make duplicates of these layers. So we're going to make a whole bunch of duplicates of the stars layer, um, and we're, we're also going to make duplicates of the uh, background layer. Uh, currently, you're seeing everything starts to look brighter. It's because there's more layers of transparency on top of it. So the more layers of transparency, the brighter the colors look. Uh, and we're going to offset that by making multiple backgrounds. When you're doing uh, an animation in GIMP, or a, I think pretty much any sort of GIF animation, it, the animations are done in layers. So just the way uh, animators used to do it, like with pens and paper, you have many layers. Uh, and then that provides the motion. So what we first need to do is we adjust. Um, now what you'll notice here is we have uh, two layers for every background except for the first. Uh, and we'll see why that is in a minute. Um, to get the sort of continuous look, we need to have one layer which is slightly back and one layer which is slightly ahead of where we start. So when we do that, we're going to move one layer back. and Then the second layer, which is also a direct copy, we're going to move that ahead. So we pull this over to the front. Uh, and we want to get it sort of in the, the same kind of spot. And you can see in GIMP you have the uh, the layer um, outline, so you can see the big square or, or the rectangle over there. Uh, and we just want to match the rectangles a bit. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. We're not going to uh, tweak it to get it 100% perfect in this uh, particular tutorial. Uh, but you want to get it kind of close. Uh, and what this is going to do is uh, when we create the output, it's going to give sort of a seamless sort of uh, unending loop. So it looks like we're just sort of continuously flying past all these stars. And again, move the other layer ahead. So this one we move back a little bit more. Um, then the next layer we move ahead a little bit less. Uh, and then this, uh, we sort of gradually progress uh, across these different layers. Uh, if you want to get really granular, granular with it, you can obviously put in more uh, layers. Each layer, again, would act as a frame in the animation. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to just do it kind of quickly. Uh, and again, move back a little bit more, or a lot more, uh, for the back layer. And then the, the front layer, which is kind of like what comes in on the repeat, uh, move ahead. Um, again, just not quite as much. And then we sort of line up the rectangles uh, to make sure that it's kind of continuous. So we don't have like big chops of dead black space in the middle. Um, and then once we have that, uh, we can just sort of double check. Right now, I'm just closing or, or closing some of the layers off just to sort of see what the progression looks like a bit. Um, and that's another good way. If you if you just kind of click through these, you can kind of see 
uh, frame by frame what the progression is. Um, and what I'm going to do now is save uh, where I am right now. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but the reason I'm saving is I want all these layers intact. Um, because uh, when we create the actual output, we actually end up collapsing the images or merging down the layers um, so to get really a, a better consistency. And we'll show that in just a sec. So in GIMP, you can do filters animation, uh, and you can actually play back the image. So right now, it's, it's kind of jumping around a bit. Uh, and that's the reason. The reason for this is because the uh, background, um, all the frames are being shown one at a time. So you're getting the stars. Uh, on top of the background, but the stars are just jumping one at a time, one at a time. So to get that more consistent is, is where we actually want to collapse down the layers a bit. We'll click on the layer and click merge down, merge down. And we merge down the layers, uh, the two star layers that we have, we merge it down to the, the re respective background layer. So this way we have uh, multiple single frames. Uh, if we save the playback now, uh, we'll get a couple of effects. First, you see the stars right away. Two, the uh, transparency is preserved um, because GIFs, as they as they go, uh, they don't always like to show transparency quite as well. So you can see the stars that have a little bit more of that transparent effect that we put in with the brush. Um, and we can see it looks like a fairly smooth animation. Uh, could always be better. Uh, but for doing something really quick, I'm kind of happy with that. Um, and then what we do is we export, uh, export to a folder, and then we just manually uh, just type in GIF. Um, GIMP will automatically recognize that. Okay, it says it needs to crop some layers. Um, that's fine. Then we're going to create an animation, say loop forever. And then from here, uh, if we want, we can actually assign um, how uh, the duration that we want to show each each layer. Um, or each frame. And we click on the pictures, and if we bring it up, we can see here's our sort of starry landscape. Um, again, there's an infinite number of ways in which you can do this. Uh, this was the first uh, kind of simple sort of tutorial that sort of came to my mind. Um, and again, you, the more granular you get with it, the, the better the animation would be. Uh, and thank you very much.